My name's Will. I've been playing tennis for 15 years. And my style of play is a counter puncher. Hi, my name's Austin. I've been playing tennis for 15 years and I like to try and finish the point off at the net. Uh, I found it a little bit difficult. Um, I found it quite hard to time the ball. I mean, you had to hit right in the sweet spot for me to generate any, um, any pace, um, which is a bit different from the other rackets. But if your timing's good, then I feel like this, this racket could be suited to you. Yeah, I struggled slightly from the back. I felt like I had to work really hard on my ground strokes to get the sweet connection. I felt like the, um, the sweet spot on the strings was quite small. So if I hit it out the centre, it was really nice. I got a good connection, but if I was late or I didn't time it properly or I didn't hit it out the middle, I didn't get the, uh, the desired results. I thought it wasn't particularly forgiving. It had to really work hard to get the connection with it. Yeah, it's a similar story of the volleys really. When I got that really nice connection out in the middle of the racket, I hit the really nice volley, but sometimes if I wasn't hitting it out the centre, they're dropping slightly short and I was struggling to get my, uh, my depth from my volleys, which is, I found a bit difficult. If, if I'm moving early and catching it right, the volleys, the volleys sailed really well. Um, however, there wasn't much leeway um, for timing wise. So if I didn't hit it in the sweet spot, it, it, I did tend to struggle with the volleys. But. Yeah, I mean, first serve, it wasn't too bad, actually. Um, I generated quite a lot of power with it, um, and then the accuracy was, was still there, so it was a good mix between the both. It actually was quite nice. I felt like I hit my serve quite well. I timed it nicely. It came out the racket, and I really got a nice response on the racket. Same with the kick serve. I really could uh, get up to my kick serves and get a nice connection with it. I still felt it was a little bit difficult. I had to still hit it quite hard to get the power and focus on the connection, but I found it a bit easier to do that on the serve. I think if I was hitting the ball nicely and I was timing it well, it could do, but I felt like if I was slightly off my game, I'd struggle to um, get hit the big shots and get my opponent off the court. And then same with the volleys, if I was coming in, hitting a duff volley short, I'm probably going to lose the points. So I was, yeah, potentially if I was playing well, but if I wasn't, it'd be tough. I wouldn't say so myself. Um, just, just the requirement of having to time it perfectly and hit it in the sweet spot to generate the pace that's required to counter punch. Um, I find it a little bit easier with a, a lighter racket. Um, the one I can generate a bit more top spin on. Yeah, I think I think the design's really nice. Um, the colour scheme's lush, um, really smart, really sleek. Um, so yeah, I could imagine myself playing with this. Yeah, I think it's really nice, really slick, nice like matte black finish. Looks yeah, unbelievable actually. Yeah, it's something I would I really like. Yeah, I think it's quite fair. If it's something you're after, if you like a slightly stiffer racket, it's uh, yeah, a good price to pay, yeah. Yeah, I would say so. Um, for me, probably a little bit too expensive in terms of, as it doesn't suit my game style. Um, but if this is more suited to a more attacking player, um, I think 220 is not too bad. Mm -hmm.